catch of a lifetime. That's what an Elkhorn man says he found while competing in a fishing competition in the Missouri River. An Ice Age discovery is sparking imagination right around the world. Russian researchers have uncovered a well-preserved woolly mammoth on a remote Arctic island. A new record has been set for the deepest fish ever recorded. These ancient bones were all unearthed after hundreds or thousands of years. Have you ever wondered what lurks in the dark and mysterious depths of the ocean? Fishermen often face the unknown and the unbelievable as they cast their nets and hooks into the sea. Sometimes they catch something so shocking and horrifying that it makes headlines around the world. From monstrous creatures to eerie artifacts, Join us as we reveal the 16 most terrifying discoveries made by fishermen around the world, including the discovery of a two-headed shark in the Indian Ocean. Enjoy the show, friends. Number 16. 90 Million Years Old Fossil What started as a peaceful day of fishing turned into a shocking discovery that rocked the world. A Nebraska man was fishing west of Yankton, South Dakota, when he made a mind-blowing discovery that shook the world. He felt a tug on his line and reeled in his catch, hoping to see a fish. But what he saw left him speechless. It was a cluster of bones covered by mud and algae. He had hooked a fossil. He took some photos of the bizarre find and posted them online, seeking answers from experts and enthusiasts. He didn't know that he had ignited a global sensation, the photos went viral, drawing the attention of millions of people. Many guessed that the fossil was from the prehistoric era, maybe a dinosaur or a giant fish. The fossil was so well-preserved that it looked almost alive. Some doubted if it was real or a hoax. The Nebraska man was stunned by the response and contacted a biologist from the U.S. Army Corps who agreed to examine the fossil. The biologist was astonished by the fossil and verified that it was from the prehistoric era. He identified it as a fish species that lived 90 million years ago during the Cretaceous period. The fish was six feet long and had a long snout, sharp teeth, and bony armor. It was a rare and precious specimen that could reveal the evolution and diversity of life on Earth. The Nebraska man was amazed by the revelation. He had uncovered a relic from a time when dinosaurs ruled the land and the sea. He wondered how it had survived for so long, hidden under the water. He felt a surge of awe and gratitude, as if nature had given him a special gift. He had made history, and he had a story to tell for generations to come. The fossil was carefully removed from the site and taken to the Lewis and Clark Visitor Center in Crofton, Nebraska, where it is now on display for the public to see. The Nebraska man's fishing adventure turned into a remarkable discovery that amazed the world and unveiled the secrets of the past. Number 15. Unknown Creature in the Deep Imagine you're a fisherman sailing on the vast ocean, hoping for some fish. You've done this for years, and you think you've seen it all. But one day... Something changes everything, something that makes you doubt your knowledge of the sea. That's what happened to some fishermen in May 2012 when they encountered something horrifying from the deep sea. Something that looked alien or nightmarish. Something that writhed and twisted with immense strength, trying to break free. Something that made the fishermen shriek in terror and drop the net back into the water. What was it? A monster? A mutant? A mermaid? No one knows for sure because the only proof of this encounter is a blurry video that spread online. Some people think it was a hoax, some think it was a rare species, some think it was a sign of the end times, but the fishermen who saw it will never forget it. They fled from the scene, leaving behind a mystery that remains unsolved. They will always wonder what they saw and what else hides in the dark depths of the ocean. Now, it is time for today's subscriber's pick, Get ready for a spine-chilling adventure in the open sea, folks, because this one is disturbing. Take a look at this bizarre image where brave fishermen seem to be fishing for these mysterious snake-like fish or whatever they are. What a terrifying sight to behold. Now, we don't know about you, but we'd be scared to go into these unknown waters. However, we're curious to hear from you. 
Do you have any juicy details about these elusive creatures, or perhaps knowledge of similar fascinating sea dwellers that can be caught on a line? Don't leave us hanging. Share your insights, stories, or theories in the comments below. Number 14. Two-Headed Shark You might think that a two-headed shark is a myth, but it's a real creature. In 2008, a fisherman found a two-headed blue shark embryo in the Indian Ocean. It was the first of its kind among egg-laying sharks. This freaky discovery stunned the researchers from the University of Malaga in Spain, who were studying the heart systems of Atlantic saw-tail cat shark, a threatened species. Out of the 797 embryos they collected, one had a shocking anomaly, two heads. This rare condition is called decephaly, and it's still a mystery why it happens. What's even more frightening is that more and more of these double-headed beasts have been appearing in the seas lately. Could this be a sign of something strange happening in the world's oceans? Number 13. The Deepest Swimming Fish You won't believe what these scientists found in the depths of the ocean. They recorded the deepest swimming fish ever seen on camera, and it's a sight to behold. The fish is a young snailfish, and it was swimming at a jaw-dropping depth of over 27,000 feet in the mysterious Izu Ogasawara Trench. That's as deep as Mount Everest is high. The scientists from the University of Western Australia and the Tokyo University of Marine Science and Technology were exploring the unknown and made an amazing discovery. It's incredible to think about what secrets the ocean hides. This discovery opens up new horizons for studying and understanding the amazing creatures that live in the deep sea. This discovery and new record smashed the previous record set in 2017 in the Pacific Ocean's Mariana Trench by a huge margin of nearly 656 feet. The snailfish filmed in the Izu Ogasawara Trench showed that they are the kings of the deep going 518 feet deeper than any fish ever recorded before. These unique creatures have evolved special adaptations to survive in the extreme pressures and darkness of the ocean depths. They have developed ways to cope with conditions that would kill most living things. Who knows what else we might find in the deeper parts of the abyss? Number 12. A Mammoth's Bone in the North Sea Imagine you are fishing in the North Sea, hoping to catch some cod or herring when you suddenly pull up something massive and furry from the depths. That's exactly what happened to a group of fishermen in 2016 when they discovered a bone that belonged to a woolly mammoth, one of the most legendary animals of the Ice Age. This bone was not just any bone, but a femur. The largest and strongest bone in the body. It measured about one meter long and weighed 40 kilograms. It was also very well preserved, thanks to the cold and salty water of the North Sea. But how did a mammoth's bone end up in the sea? Well, it turns out that the North Sea was not always a sea, but a huge plain that connected Britain and Europe during the Ice Age. This plain was home to many animals, including woolly mammoths, which had thick fur and long tusks to endure the harsh climate. They grazed on grasses and shrubs and sometimes fought with other mammoths or predators. However, as the Ice Age ended and the climate warmed up, the sea level rose and submerged the plain, creating the North Sea we know today. The woolly mammoths, along with many other Ice Age animals, went extinct leaving behind only fossils and bones. The mammoth's bone in the North Sea is a rare and valuable find that connects us to a distant past. Number 11. Rediscovering a Lost World War II Aircraft The sea is full of mysteries, and sometimes it can unveil astonishing secrets from the past. That's what some fortunate Russian fishermen witnessed in 2015 when they were fishing in the Barents Sea. They expected to catch fish, but they stumbled upon something fascinating. A plane. A Bell P-39 Era Cobra. A fighter plane used by the Soviet Union during World War II. This plane was a priceless treasure because it was part of the Lend-Lease program, a deal between the U.S. and its allies to provide military aid during the war. 
The Soviet pilots flew these planes to combat the Nazis, especially in the Eastern Front. But how did this plane end up in the sea? No one knows for sure, but it could have been downed by enemy fire, or crashed, or abandoned. The plane plunged to the bottom of the sea, where it remained for over 70 years, until the fishermen discovered it. The plane was still in good shape, despite being submerged for so long. The metal frame was solid and the paint was noticeable. The plane had its serial number and insignia, which helped to trace its origin and history. It was a remarkable example of the resilience and craftsmanship of these war machines. The Barents Sea was a strategic location during World War II, where many battles and operations took place. The discovery of the plane was a rare chance to explore the past and learn more about the history and significance of the area. It was also a tribute to the courage and sacrifice of the people who fought and died. For the fishermen, it was a memorable day, as they found a piece of history in their net. Number 10. The Giant Oarfish. Harbingers of Doom. Imagine a fish that is longer than a bus and that some people believe it can foretell earthquakes and tsunamis. Sounds unbelievable, right? But it's true. These fish are called giant oarfish, and they are one of the most enigmatic and captivating creatures in the sea. Researchers say that giant oarfish are the longest bony fish in the world, reaching up to 36 feet in length. They have a sleek, silvery body and a long red fin that runs along their back. They look like colossal ribbons, or perhaps dragons, swimming in the deep sea. They are seldom seen by humans because they live in depths of up to 3,000 feet, where sunlight barely reaches. They are so strange that some scientists call them the unicorns of the sea, but sometimes these fish come to the surface or wash up on the shore, and that's when things get intriguing. Because for centuries people have linked giant oar fish with legends and superstitions. In many cultures, especially in Japan, giant oar fish are seen as omens of doom because they are thought to appear before natural disasters like earthquakes or tsunamis. Some people think that the fish sense the vibrations in the earth's crust and try to escape the danger by swimming up. Others think that the fish are messengers from the gods, warning humans of their wrath. Of course, there is no scientific proof that giant oarfish can predict disasters, and most experts think that their appearances are just coincidences. Whatever the case, giant oarfish are incredible creatures that remind us of how little we know about the ocean and how much more there is to discover. They are not the only ones, though. There are many other bizarre and scary creatures you'll find out about soon. Some of them are so astounding, you won't believe your eyes. Number 9. Turtle Tries to Steal Fish What would you do if you caught a fish and a dinosaur tried to snatch it from you? This was the case of some fishermen who had a close encounter with a massive snapping turtle. The viral video shows the moment they pulled up their net and found a huge, ancient, hungry beast waiting for them. The turtle, which looked like a mini-monster, saw the fish as a tasty treat. It moved swiftly and silently and snapped its powerful jaws around the fish, hoping to steal it from the fishermen. The fishermen were stunned and scared by this unexpected attack. They probably thought they had just met a creature from the Jurassic era. But how dangerous are snapping turtles? Well, they are not very graceful on land, but they are fierce hunters in the water. Their bites can be fatal because they have strong jaws that can crush bones and flesh. The cunning turtle was finally outsmarted by the clever fisherman, who kept not only his prize, but also a fish tale to tell. It's a reminder that while fish may be out there fighting for their survival, you might be in an epic battle against an unforeseen deep-sea behemoth instead. Number 8. A Bag Full of Rare Ambergris No doubt, the ocean is full of surprises, but sometimes the most valuable treasures are not what you expect. In 2020, a group of fishermen stumbled upon a bag containing a rare and precious substance called amber grease. This amazing discovery revealed a world of mystery and luxury linked to this unique marine treasure. 
Ambergris, also known as floating gold, is a waxy substance produced by sperm whales. It originates in the digestive system of these magnificent animals and is ejected into the ocean. Over time, it undergoes a transformation under the sun and salt water, becoming a solid grayish-brown substance with a distinctive musky aroma. Ambergris has a long and fascinating history. For centuries, it has been coveted for its fragrant qualities and its use in the perfume industry. Its unique scent enriches and preserves perfumes, adding a complexity and durability to fragrances. Due to its rarity and the difficulty of collecting it, ambergris commands a high price on the market. The bag full of rare ambergris found by the fishermen offered them an unexpected fortune. Its value depends on its quality, size, and the market demand at the time of sale. Large, high-quality pieces can sell for astronomical sums, making ambergris a highly desirable commodity in the world of luxury fragrances. Number 7. Mummified Sailor Back in 2016, two Filipino fishermen made a shocking discovery when they boarded a yacht that had been drifting in the Philippine Sea. Inside, they found a mummified body of a man sitting at a desk as if he was still alive. The man was Manfred Fritz Bajorat, a 59-year-old German sailor who had been sailing around the world since 2008 but had lost contact with anyone since 2009. No one knows how he died or how his yacht ended up there. But the most horrifying thing was his appearance. His skin was shriveled and brown, his hair was intact, and his face was twisted in a grimace. He looked like a mummy, but not the kind you see in movies. He was a natural mummy, preserved by the salt and the sun. Forensic experts believe he died of a heart attack or a stroke, and his body started to mummify within weeks. His mouth was hidden under his skin, and his nostrils were tiny. The only thing he lacked was his eyes. He had no idea what was happening to him, or that he would become a terrifying sight for anyone who found him. Number 6. Prehistoric Shark Teeth. A Plenty. Now imagine fishing in the deep sea and pulling up a net full of ancient shark teeth. That feels creepy, right? That's what some lucky fishermen off the coast of South Carolina experienced in 2015. They were shocked when they retrieved their catch and found a treasure trove of fossilized shark teeth, dating back millions of years. They had stumbled upon a hidden history of the ocean's most fearsome predators. The shark teeth were in perfect condition, showing the amazing diversity of ancient sharks. Each tooth was a unique souvenir from a long extinct creature. Some of the teeth belonged to the megalodon, the largest and most powerful shark that ever lived. These teeth were massive and sharp, revealing the secrets of this colossal beast. Other teeth came from sharks that we still see today, like the great white and the tiger shark. These teeth showed how these sharks evolved and adapted over time. The reason why there were so many shark teeth in this area was because it was a prime hunting ground for ancient sharks. As they lost their teeth, they sank to the ocean floor and became fossils. The discovery of prehistoric shark teeth was a stunning reminder of the ocean's hidden past. These fossils gave us a glimpse into a world that was very different from ours, a world where ancient sharks ruled the seas. They also sparked our imagination and curiosity, making us wonder what else lies beneath the ocean's surface. Number 5. Faceless Fish the ocean is full of weird and wonderful creatures, but none of them can beat this one for being the most bizarre. This fish has no face. Well, almost. This is the faceless Kusk, a rare and mysterious creature that has been spotted by deep-sea researchers in Australia. This fish likes to hang out in the dark and cold depths of the ocean, as deep as 13,000 feet, where the water temperature is only 34 degrees Fahrenheit. The faceless cusk has no eyes, no nose, and no mouth, at least not that you can see. But don't freak out, it's not an alien. It's just a very unique fish that has evolved differently from other deep-sea creatures. After a closer look, it turns out that this fish actually has a mouth, but it's hidden under its skin. 
and it also has two nostrils, but they are very small. So the only thing that's really missing is its eyes. This fish has been seen only a few times in history, so there's still a lot to learn about this faceless wonder. Number 4. A Shark with a Human Arm Imagine visiting an aquarium and witnessing a shark vomit a human arm. That's exactly what happened in Sydney, Australia in 1935 when a captive tiger shark regurgitated a tattooed limb in front of a horrified crowd. The arm belonged to Jimmy Smith, a former boxer and petty criminal who had gone missing a few weeks earlier. But how did his arm end up in the shark's stomach? The police soon discovered that Smith had been murdered by his partner in crime, Patrick Brady, who had cut off his arm with a knife and dumped it in the sea. The arm was then swallowed by a smaller shark, which was later eaten by the tiger shark. Number 3. A Live Missile what would you do if you found a live missile in your fishing net? That's what happened to a fisherman in Florida in 2019, who hooked a live air-to-air -air missile that weighed 45 kilograms and was 3 meters long. The missile was a training device that had been lost by the U.S. military, but it could still explode and cause serious damage. The fisherman was fishing near the MacDill Air Force Base in Tampa, where the U.S. military conducts exercises and tests new weapons. He noticed something heavy and metallic in his net and pulled it up to his boat. To his shock, he realized it was a missile with a brown band to denote a live rocket motor and a yellow band to denote a live warhead. The fisherman immediately called the authorities and reported his discovery. He was instructed to stay away from the missile and wait for the bomb squad to arrive, the bomb squad carefully removed the missile from his boat and transported it to a munition storage facility at the base. The missile was identified as a French S-530 air-to-air missile, which is a radar-guided weapon that can hit targets up to 40 kilometers away. The missile is used by the French Air Force and other countries, such as Egypt and Greece. The U.S. military had acquired some of these missiles for training purposes, but had lost track of one of them during an exercise. The fisherman was lucky to escape unharmed from his encounter with the missile, which could have detonated at any moment. He was also praised for his quick and responsible action, which prevented a potential disaster. The incident also raised questions about the safety and accountability of the U.S. military's weapons testing and disposal practices. Number 2. A Giant Eyeball how would you feel if you caught a giant eyeball in your fishing net? Well, that was the bizarre case of a fisherman in Florida in 2012 when he landed a blue eyeball that was as big as a softball. The eyeball had blood vessels attached to it, making it look even more gruesome. The fisherman wondered if it came from a squid or a whale, but the experts later revealed that it was from a swordfish. Swordfish have huge eyes that can measure up to 10 centimeters in diameter, and they can detach easily from their sockets. The experts said that the eyeball was probably cut off by a fisherman who caught the swordfish and threw it back into the ocean. The fisherman was amazed by his unusual catch, which he donated to the Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission for research. The eyeball was preserved and studied by scientists who learned more about the vision and behavior of swordfish. The incident also attracted a lot of attention and curiosity from the public. Number 1. The Seabed Sunken UFO Imagine fishing in the Bermuda Triangle, a place infamous for its mysterious and unexplained events. You cast your net into the deep blue water, hoping for some fish but instead you haul up something that looks out of this world. A huge metallic saucer-shaped object covered in algae and coral, a UFO that has been resting on the ocean floor for ages. How would you react? Shocked? Scared? Curious? That's what some fishermen encountered when they discovered a sunken UFO in the depths of the Bermuda Triangle. They were stunned and puzzled by the strange object that got tangled in their nets. They wondered where it came from, what it was doing there, and who or what was inside it. 
The sunken UFO drew the attention of experts and researchers from different fields. They wanted to examine the craft and learn more about its design, technology, and origin. They hoped to find proof of extraterrestrial life and the secrets of the cosmos. They also speculated that the Earth's oceans might conceal clues to our alien neighbors. The sunken UFO remains a mystery to this day. No one knows for sure what it is, where it came from, or why it crashed. But it reminds us of how vast and mysterious our universe is and how much we still have to explore. Thanks for watching. For more mind-blowing discoveries, click now on the next video you see on your screen.